All right, this is the second video in our Building a Twin Tip Kiteboard series. So in the first video, we poured our urethane rails, we machined our core, and now we're gonna show building the rocker table. The rocker table is simply a jig that has some curve in it that will allow us to vacuum bag this in place, and when it's done, it will have some rocker in it. So, enjoy the video. All right, so here we are. We're cutting out our stringers and frames on the CNC machine. We're using some 5 8 plywood. Uh, because it's 5 8 and we want the stringers to be thick enough to screw the deck into, we're going to double those up. In this case, we've drilled some indexing holes in those stringers, and we're using some old broken quarter-inch router bits to, as pins to line those up before we screw them together. So here we are screwing those together, and once we have them screwed together, we're going to install them into our frames. Uh, this process goes pretty quickly, especially when you speed it up like this. Uh, but even at real speed, this was not a long process. So now we're fitting those into the frames. As you can see, they do fit pretty snugly, uh, which is good. Uh, the whole thing doesn't move around that way. And we'll get that all set up. I actually cut this, uh, I think, for four frames. But once we got three in there, I determined it was stiff enough uh, that we didn't need to add the extras. So, uh, and then we do have four stringers on this. So I got two on the inside and uh, one on each outside. And we're just screwing this whole thing together. But as it's going together here, I can feel it's nice and stout. Uh, we'll also put an end cap on each end uh, to kind of stiffen things up and make sure that nothing's gonna get out of whack. So once we've got the frame done, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the deck. So you can see here I'm putting on those end caps I talked about. I actually had the deck run out onto those. And that also provides me a nice area to screw into at the end. So I have the ability to screw all the way around the perimeter and get a nice solid deck. Placing screws in here about every six inches on center uh, down the length of it and flipping it around doing the other side. Uh, this actually makes a really nice stout rocker table which is good because you want a firm base to work from and you want to know uh, that things aren't going to warp or twist on you. So once we've got the plywood deck down the next thing I'm doing here is I'm putting down carpet tape because we're going to put a low density polyethylene skin over this. Uh, so we're going to put down some quarter inch low density polyethylene I didn't want to screw into it because I didn't want to, one, distort it, and two, I didn't want to create any potential leaks. So once we've got that carpet tape down, we pulled it, we've dropped the uh, low density polyethylene deck on here, and just using a rag uh, and rubbing that down and getting that uh, deck pressed into the tape. Once uh, that's all done, we've moved it over into our shaping bay and we're going to apply some mold release to it. We're using Partle number two green wax and this is really just in case we get a little squeeze out that ends up on the polyethylene. So once we're done applying the mold release to this, it will be done and ready to go. Uh, so in the next video, we're actually going to show how we made the skins and we'll go from there. All right, so now that our rocker table is done, in the next video, we're gonna build the skins that we use to laminate on both sides of the wood core. We're doing this a little bit different. We're actually gonna infuse our skins on flat glass panel and then glue them to the board in the rocker table. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you're enjoying this channel, please subscribe. Thank you.